Good morning dear students. Today we are going to read Weathering the Storm in Our Summer written by Harsh Mandel. I hope you all are aware of the storm in Odisha in the year 99. But before we read it, let's know something about the author. Harsh Mainter is an Indian author, columnist, researcher, teacher and social activist who works with survivors of mass violence and hunger as well as homeless persons and street children. He is the director of the Centre for Equity Studies, a research organisation based in New Delhi. He also served as Special Commissioner to the Supreme Court of India in the Right to Food campaign and was a member of the National Advisory Council of the Government of India. Now let's have a look at that violent cyclone that hit Odisha in the year 99. The cyclone caused heavy destruction and ruined many lives. Now let me give you a brief introduction of this chapter. The story gives an account of the storm that hit the coastal town of Arsama in Odisha state in the year 99. A young boy Parshant faced the fury of the storm and reached his village. The details of how he worked hard to help the villagers overcome the devastation caused by the storm inspire us to have courage and a positive approach towards life, especially during hard times. It's very important to stand for a cause. Now let's have a look at the title weathering the storm in our summer. The title of the story is crucial because the author Harsh Mender writes on and supports the rights of people who have weathered storms or faced hardships in life. He covers the causes of homeless people, survivors of famines or mass violence, disabled people and labor rights. So the title is quite apt. Let's have a look at the text now. Prashant was a young boy of 19 years of age. He belonged to Kalikuda, a village in the coastal state of Odisha. He had lost his mother seven years ago. On 27th October 99, when he was visiting a friend in our summer, a super cyclone hit the area. There was large scale devastation. The gushy winds and rains continued for two days. They remained on the rooftop of the house and survived on the tender coconuts from the coconut trees that had fallen on the roof. As the rain stopped, Prashant left for his home as he feared the worst for his family. But it was not possible 
that possible that easy to reach his place he took a stick to help him find the road at times he had to swim through the flood waters on the way he met two friends and their uncle and the group moved together they came across dead bodies of human beings and animals which floated with the current as they crossed villages not even a single house could be seen prashant's house was shattered too and he saw the belongings hanging on the branches of the trees he wept as he felt that he had lost his beloved he went to the red cross shelter in search of his family that was really a very tough time for prashant he looked here and there for his family but he could not find finally prashant met his maternal grandmother she was elated to see him alive as they had not expected that he would have survived the storm prashant saw a crowd of 2500 people at the shelter many had lost their families in the disaster they were grief stricken as the catastrophe had snatched everything for the last two days they had survived on coconuts but they were running out of stock prashant took control of the situation he formed a group with some elders and young people they forced the merchant to give them the stock of rice and were successful so at such times one needs to take a lead one needs to step forward to help everyone around and that is what this young man prashant did after 4 days the crowd ate meal then the group of volunteers cleaned the shelter and tended to the injured people prashant engaged the widows to work in the ngo named food for work he engaged the children by arranging sports matches for them the volunteers managed to set up foster families comprising of the widows often children and lone men who could form a family and support each other like this prashant overcame his grief and learned to smile even in the face of adversities so if we look at the theme of this chapter the theme of the story is evoked when the storm takes place and due to which people are in a lot of suffering it states that the community members should mobilize in order to prevent themselves from suffering apart from the aid provided by the government however in this story a 19 years old young man initiates to help the community members and make them stand on their feet the theme of leadership by this young man is praised in the story now let's have a look at the message that has been conveyed through this chapter the message is quite clear the community members should help themselves when the calamity strikes in order to get the aid they should not be completely dependent upon the government also the important message conveyed in this chapter is that the youth plays a vital role in his or her contribution to the society so at such times or you can say during hard times 
they need to take a lead so that they can reach to everyone to help them as it is required during such times so that was all about the chapter weathering the storm in our summer hope it's clear to everyone thank you so much for watching